Good morning. So it is Tuesday. Why do I always yawn when I start these? So it is Tuesday. It's 10:30. Had some good calls this morning, so that was very exciting. I'll tell you more about those in an upcoming video. But um, good way to start the day, getting ready to go to the gym. Um, I honestly have no idea what we're gonna be doing at the gym. Um, the last few weeks have been really all over the place, to be honest, as far as training goes, and it's really frustrating, um, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, and, you know, we can make plans, but you gotta be able to adapt and adjust on the fly. Um, so, yeah, the last few weeks I was sick, um, and just getting back into things and just not, you know, feeling good one day, not the next. And we've just kind of had to play it all by ear. Um, and yesterday I didn't feel great, but I just really wanted to go to the gym and I wanted to get after a good squat session. And I went in, chatted with Ian, we kind of talked how I was feeling. And he was like, hey, like I, he's like, I know you're not gonna like this, but I really think we need to just chill today. And as much as I knew in my head, my heart, I was like, you are correct. But so much of me was like, no, I wanna go lift. Um, so we just worked on some balance things, um, uh, mobility stuff, which is still a lot of great work, but you know what I mean? When you wanna just, you wanna, I don't know, like grind and like do stuff that like feels more challenging, even though this stuff is still challenging, but it's not, you don't feel that same like sense of like reward afterwards. So, but it's okay. Um, and, but the exciting thing was, so we were going through, he was just taking me through some uh, mobility stuff, some, like a marching, just seeing how my knee was moving and stuff, or different like A marches, B marches. Um, and then he, so he had me standing with my feet hip width distance and just asked me to jump and move my feet out like just an inch wider or so, or a few inches. So I did it. He was like, all right, well next time do this when you land, bend your knees. So I'm doing it and he's like, okay, so like drop down a little more. So I'm doing that. He's like, do you know where, like, you know where I'm going with this, right? And I was like, I'm so out of it. I was like, I, I don't know. I was like, I was like, it's cool. I'm jumping though. Pretty pumped about that. <laughs> but, and then it was funny. So he had me start again with my feet hip with, uh, I wish I had this on film, but I had no idea like what we were doing. Um, and so, so I'm standing there and he's like, all right, now shrug your shoulders go up in your toes and I just start laughing and like honestly almost like in tears because I'm like we're progressing to a clean and I know it sounds like so but in my brain I had kind of put off that I was going to be doing any sort of Olympic lifting for a really long time um, and didn't give myself like a date of when I was going to be doing a clean again or a snatch or anything like that because I don't know, I've been just more focused on day to day, week to week, especially right now. And so I was just like beside myself and like smiling from ear to ear. I was so excited. So I did it like we, and I'm gonna film one today just to show you guys. Cause I, I thought it was really, but yeah. So went up onto my, or shrugged onto my toes and then jumped my feet out and like threw my elbows through like I would if I was holding, um, a barbell so essentially I mean we're not adding any weight yet or at least I don't know when that's going to be but I was just um, trying not to get too ahead of myself and just focusing especially on how inconsistent like the last few weeks have been with my training um, I was just like just happy for that moment and I know it sounds so simple but I just Olympic lifting, especially cleans, I I just love them so much. And it's kind of hard to even describe like how good I feel when I get to do cleans and do heavy cleans and um and I just love that movement so much. So it was it was really exciting to 
um, feel like I'm closer to doing that than I originally thought. So that was very exciting. Um, but yeah, but we didn't do much else. Just, you know, like I said, some stability, mobility work, um, balance stuff. So yeah. So again, like today I'm just gonna go in being like, you know, I'm gonna get better today, whatever it looks like, whether it's whether I get to squat today, whether I get to maybe, I don't know, like clean with a barbell today, who knows? Um, or even if it's just like some core work and biking, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's, it's going to be good. I get to do these things and, you know, it is tough. Like whatever your, you know, fitness goals are, it's tough when there's setbacks or when you know other things in life get in the way like you know we can all come up with these foolproof plans and they look awesome and we just gotta go in and follow the course but like shit happens and sometimes you gotta know when to dial it back and it's definitely hard sometimes knowing when to push through when not to because there's definitely been days where I'm like man I feel like garbage but I know that I'm gonna feel better if I get some sort of work in and sometimes that's knowing you know I need to go in but it can't be super intense or crazy I just gotta like flush out do some blood flow whatever that is um, but sometimes you know your body's trying to tell you something and sometimes it just needs to chill so maybe that's like, hey, I was gonna do this hard lifting session today, but like, I'm just gonna go on a walk instead. Like, and that's definitely happened to me before. So, um, and whether that's being like kind of physically fried, mentally fried, like, you know, it can be from a lot of things. So um, yeah, I would definitely recommend, um, again, sometimes like it is good to, um, push through a little bit and you're not always going to feel 100% perfect but also knowing when your body's trying to tell you something and to just chill and you're not getting behind because I think that's something I've also struggled with through this process is that there's no need in on days when my body's trying to like is begging for a break there's no sense in me digging myself a deeper hole and then not being able to have a great workout the next day so again like yesterday i could have pushed through something for sure like but in the overall big picture like is that what i need to do right now absolutely not um and so even though it's i have the luxury right now that there's not like a specific date i need to be a hundred percent obviously i want that date to be like tomorrow <laughs> but um it's a luxury but also it's challenging as well because like for example when i hurt my shoulder i was um i committed to going team for the crossfit game so there was a deadline like i needed to be able to do certain movements at a certain time and right now I don't have that timeline, which um, again, not like I wanna draw this process out forever, but I think it's good because it's giving me the room to um, not push this too fast. Um, but it's also a little more challenging because um, it's, and I think it's a good thing in some aspects, it's pushed me to really focus on my day-to-day week-to-week goals and not get too ahead of myself um but and i think part of i feel like i'm going on the biggest tangent ever but um especially right now when um you know things fitness wise movement wise aren't going like the exact way i want them to and not that i you know how i had envisioned it but like school's going really well job search has gone really well. I'm really excited about that and like that new chapter of my life. Um, and so that's been really helpful that that's kind of given me um, a space to escape like sometimes the frustrations of like my knee rehab and stuff like that. Like my, um, like my shoulder, the one I had surgery on, like was starting to 
pissed me off the other week. And it's just, so feeling like, like my body was just like, okay, like we need to chill. Um, it's good that I have this other like arena to really focus on and work hard in. And um, yeah, so, but yeah, anyways, long story short, today's gonna be a good day. Um, and yeah, I don't know what we're doing in the gym. Honestly, I've been, oh, so I also got to, again, I feel like this is the longest like life update. Apologies, Connor, for having to listen to all this. But um, the other day I was just assault biking. Um, just, I was like, I'm gonna go 30 minutes, like kind of chill. And then um, this was at my parents' house and they also have a rower. And I was like, you know what? I haven't tried rowing yet. And given what I've done thus far with my knee, I was like, I think I would be able to, not like we're not doing any 2Ks or 500s for time, but just doing some easy rowing. And it's, it felt so good, not just on my knee, but just felt good to, like every time I get to add back in a movement is just really exciting because it, reminds me that I'm like one step closer to not just being to where I was prior to injury, but that like I have the ability to surpass that. And um, so that was really exciting. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, it gave me like a slight itch to do a CrossFit workout. <laughs> and I'm slightly tempted um, maybe just like right now, like, I don't know, like maybe once a week or something, like drop into a CrossFit gym and obviously I'd have to like modify significantly. Maybe I'll wait a few more weeks. Um, but, uh, I just think it'd be fun to do that again and kind of, I mean, that's one of the reasons I love CrossFit workouts, um, is that you kind of get to zone out a little bit and just move. And as much as I love lifting and stuff sometimes it's just like there's too much time to think almost um but i i there's a time and a play i love both but i think it'd be fun to just i don't know like do a crossfit workout again or maybe i'll just do one on my own make something up not anything crazy but and obviously i don't want to run into the problem where that would be interfering with any of my rehab or stuff that I'm doing upper body wise. So, but I don't know, just something I was thinking about. And I think that would go into the gym and then getting my hair done later today. So that'll be fun. Um, and then I gotta do some more schoolwork cause I have a midterm tomorrow. I feel like I could just sit here and chat with you guys for the rest of the day, but we're gonna go get some stuff done. So off to the gym. Listen all you New Yorkers. <laughs>
comeback season in the works and now I'm thinking bigger. All right, man, quite a roller coaster of emotions uh, in the gym, but got through the workout. So I know as positive as I was being this morning about like turning it around and yesterday being like an off day, but today was gonna be really great. And not that it wasn't, like I'm glad that I got the work in, but I was like this close <laughs> to going home. Um, and I just, I just didn't want to be at the gym. I was like, I just want to go home and honestly like do homework, something. Like I, I just, I didn't want to do it. And um, luckily David, one of the coaches here, was here and he was like, just kind of talked me through it. And like, I was just letting, or I was telling him that, you know, I think this is like the most inconsistent and out of sorts, like my, I don't know, training, um, nutrition stuff has been for like quite some time. Just kind of really throws me for a loop. Like I love my routines. I'm also very much like an all or nothing person. So I like when I'm dialed in, I'm really dialed in. Like for example, we were talking about um, eating and Right now my appetite is all over the place like because my my training hasn't been super consistent like my appetite really isn't the same and after like feeling sick like i just like certain foods don't like taste good and or i just don't really want the foods that i normally eat so it's just and so for me it's but he was saying which is very good advice like it's not like I have to be either nothing or like have to be like everything has to be logged and I have to be eating everything perfect and hitting my macros exactly. It's like, it's like, let's start with baby steps. Like right now it's like, okay, getting in like three good meals a day and then like, you know, like hitting my protein number and like, you know, so just making steps back to it. Like I don't have to, I don't know, like try and go crazy um, or just basically just like cut myself a little bit of slack and like ease back into it. Um, Cause that way I think overall I'll feel better about the whole process instead of being like, well, like I'm off, like who cares? Um, Cause that's not good either. But yeah, but I'm very grateful for to have like good people around me at the gym because I mean that's why like for me personally like I and trust me there are days where I'm like I would rather just like zone out put my headphones in talk to no one at the gym but for me like and that's why I got into CrossFit and I mean I loved being on teams in sports growing up like I love working out with other people and I feel like that helps me hold myself accountable because on days where I don't want to be there or I feel like crap or anything like that like there's other people to like feed off of and like it just makes it more fun like you get out of your own head with like ugh, this is gonna be hard or you know whatever it is and you get to feed off of like each other's energy and that just makes it more enjoyable and more fun and so yeah I would highly recommend working out with other people it's a lot of fun all right, well, it is really hot in my car and I need to turn the AC on. But I'm gonna go get some food and then we're gonna go get my hair done. And yeah. So yesterday I was at Starbucks doing homework, studying for my midterm tomorrow. And the seat there, or the like stool thing I was at, my computer was obviously on it. And I was like slightly tilting my head down for probably like two and a half, three hours. And my neck hurts so bad today. Um, it's not really funny, but um, so I think I need to like use my little sidekick roller and scraper to help maybe use a heating pad too. But well, my roller heats up, so that'll be good. But anyway, so um, yeah, so I was just there studying and was like trying to find ways to like not tilt. I'm sure it doesn't help that like looking at my phone like this and all that stuff, but yeah. So gotta, gotta roll that out a little bit. But anyways, um, also went and got my hair done. If you can tell. Well actually, so I had gotten my hair done um, about a week or so ago and just went back in um, to tone it. 
So if you are in the Scottsdale area um, or in the Phoenix area, I don't know, you're in Arizona for whatever reason, you need to go see Mateo at Pucci Salon. He is amazing. He also does my mom's hair, which is how I heard of him. And I love it. I feel like my hair was starting just to get kind of, I don't know, my hair hasn't been this like bright and blonde in a long time and I'm really, really happy about it. So very excited. But anyways, um, getting distracted. I wanted to show you guys another yogurt dessert that I came up with. It's not really like super complex, but I was posting about it on Instagram and I got a lot of questions about it. So I figured I would just show you guys here. So I've got um, just the yogurt that I've been using all the time. I've got some strawberries that I'm going to just wash. I'm gonna cut them up and slice them. All right, then I'm going to add yogurt. Just mix it up. Okay. And then I'm going to take some dark chocolate chips and do whatever chips you like. So I got kind of like over just putting chocolate chips in. Yes, I'm weighing these out. Otherwise, I'll end up with way too many in here. I don't know. I was just kind of getting sick of chocolate chips. So I'm going to melt this so then I can put it on top. And then while that is being melted, I'm going to add just some peanut butter. I should have let this like soften because it's like better when it's like a little more runny and it can like go all the way around. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of peanut butter. That's a little more, but that's okay. <laughs> It up. So I did this for a minute and then checked on it and then put it in for like another 15 seconds. Um, just better to pull it out a few times versus like just burning it. So now I'm going to put chocolate, well try to <laughs> drizzle it on. It's not as pretty as I would have liked it, but that's okay. So it didn't taste very good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this in the freezer just for a few minutes, and then I'll show you guys when it's all done. But right now, it looks like this. But it's all hardened. So now you can like, it's kind of like that, um, what was this? Uh, turtle shell, the chocolate that like freezes and stuff. Stuff's very good. This stuff's better though. Well, before I <laughs> go ahead and eat this, but yeah, kind of going back to what I was talking about earlier in uh, the car, hopefully I was making some sense. It was really hot. It's like 108 today. I thought Arizona, we were past the hot stretch. Honestly, it's not as bad as it was last year, but I just thought we were on the decline as far as temperature goes and looks like we're not. Um, but another reason I'm very excited to see Carlo in a few weeks, I mean, obviously, uh, number one to see him, but potentially number two or three is to be able to wear like pants and a jacket and a sweatshirt outside. But, um, but yeah, so, but like I was saying earlier, especially right now with, um, just trying to get back to consistency, not just in my training, but especially with my food, um, trying to start small and start with what I know I can stick with and not trying to bite off more than I can chew right now and just let myself build off of each day, even though so much of me wants to just be like, you need to do everything like perfect with all the food and the logging and stuff. It's just, it's, it's okay to be where I'm at and to have to build back a little bit. Um, so, and hopefully my appetite, well, I mean, my appetite obviously will, um, change depending on how my training is. So once my training starts to 
um, become more consistent, like that will help appetite and stuff and all that stuff. But hopefully I start, um, I don't know, yeah. Anyways, let me cut that part out. But anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm going to um, do a little more studying for my midterm. And that's about it. Get an early bedtime tonight. I can tell that I need it, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me guys know. Let, let me know if you guys try this yogurt or try any of the workout that I did today. That workout has been really so. Again, I know I was about to end the video, and now I'm not. But anyways, bear with me. So. Uh, that workout we introduced last week because my shoulder was starting to not feel great. So I had started a new upper body cycle and the exercises that were involved just were kind of aggravating my shoulder. My shoulder already hadn't been feeling super good, so it wasn't necessarily those exercises, but it wasn't doing it any good. So um, this one, I'm glad that um, Ian switched it up, um, still allowing me to get in upper body workouts, but not um, put a lot of pressure on my shoulder and just let it, we're gonna start adding more things in, um, just more recovery wise, and honestly adding in some more rehab exercises, probably some corrective exercises back into my routine just to get my shoulder back on track. I think that's hard sometimes, like when, um, like right now I'm so hyper focused on my knee and sometimes it's easy to forget that the rest of my body needs some love and care as well, especially with how hard I've been going on the upper body workouts um, because that's been like my outlet because I can't, yeah, I mean my lower body workouts are hard, but they're just not, they're still limited in certain capacities and so, with upper body, like I kind of just get to let loose and go for it, but obviously I need to take care of my upper body, especially because we've been going kind of ham on it. So, lesson learned and uh, yeah. So just gonna give this guy some extra, um, extra recovery and extra, um, yeah, all the good things. But anyways, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I will see you in the next one.